Today I'll show you how to change out your chain. Uh, I've already got my new chain on. Basically, uh, maybe I shouldn't have drank so much. Um, I'm just going to show you how to break a link and put a rivet style link in. I'm, I'm not a fan of rivet styles. I would rather a master link, but this might be my only opportunity to show you how to do a rivet style. Other than if I get another street bike, but so anyways, you, you are going to have to need special tools. Motion Pro makes a very great special tool for this. Their chain breaker. Uh, I have a very big kit. It was like a hundred bucks or something like that. I don't know, but it can do anything from like a, a pedal bike chain all the way up to 630. So I, I just wanted to cover all bases at one time. So with this though. Uh, uh, so what you're going to do is smash your wheel all the way as far forward as you can. Axle blocks bottom out against tensioners, tensioners are bottom out against swing arm. You're going to pull your chain and you're going to see where you're going to break your link at. This one does not make it. So I cannot break it here. I have to break it here. Because you can't master link this end to this end. You you, you cannot. It's not possible. If you make it happen, uh, you're a god. Um, so what you do is you want to make sure your links are as straight as possible. This one is the older model to the one that is new so you just slide it in you might have a block and you're gonna want it on a uh, break so this guy you just bottom him out until he's all the way down on that link links are set in place and then this guy hopefully you have the correct pin in too to take out the 520 this is a 520 or whatever link you're going to be putting on uh pussy handle gotta have that for uh grippity grip anyways let's go ahead and use our little ratchet wrench here and we're going to send this pin all the way out the back side it's gonna get tight really tight and you're just gonna keep going and i i cannot uh, express how easy it is if you do this on bike sure you sit indian style but at the same time you get to mm. oh yeah so good it'll be like this for a while too then when you reach the end it's going to get sort of tight again but that's just you pushing that lip past your outer side of your link bury him just to make sure it's going through okay so i'm gonna back this out my spring is broken in mine so it doesn't uh retract the pin and they don't offer a replacement spring so there you go and there's your pin. Your pin is out. So you can take your link. And uh, take him off. And the O-rings. If yours has O-rings. You don't want the old O-rings on. You want the new stuff that's in the bag. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Shit. Hang on one second. Let me clean off my fingers before I reach into my pocket. And pull out my kniffy. So this is going to be a rivet style link I'm installing. I really don't want to do this because it's a dirt bike. I'd much rather a master link because yeah. Anyways, your uh, chain, this is an EK chain and they're nice enough to send you the rivet style link instead of the clip style. Renthal will send you both, uh, but 
AK has this pretty sweet blue chain and I, I prefer DID over EK, but I don't know. I've been kind of growing on EK lately. Uh, had one on the street bike and liked it. Went from a 530 to a 520. But yeah, I like these EK chains. I don't know why, I just do. It'll come with some grease. So you're going to open the grease up. You're going to take this grease and you're going to lather not the outside so much, but the inside. God damn it. So I'm just going to put a nice little stream on both sides. And then rub these pins down. Mm -hmm. To grab some of these O rings out of the bag, well, just kind of lube them up with what's left over on your fingers, and then put him on this side. We're going to need another one. Set him down for a second. I'll take some from this because there is a lot on there. Set them in place, maybe take some more, loop them up some more, get them nice and lathered. You can't even tell there's O-rings on there. The back side, you want to go through the back side, of course. If you go the other way, it's probably your first time. It's fine. That's why you're watching the video, I guess. going to take some more lube now I got it all over some tools lather up the other two o-rings put them on this side and lubed up bada bing bada boom and then you're going to take your side plate part of the link and I'm just really focusing on the side that's going against the o-rings not not the side that's gonna be facing out put him in place and right off the bat you'll probably notice that that's not going on very easy so give me one sec and I'll show you what to do here channel locks probably like the best weapon of choice right now so what you're gonna do is smash from one side to another side then grab middle and you're gonna walk it back and forth constantly it's gonna it's gonna take some time you probably want to start with middle whatever you do don't push your link out like I just did Want to keep your O-rings in place, and holy crap, dude! It's like it's the first time I've done this. You're gonna kind of like start at the middle, smash them in place, and then you're gonna go to one of the two sides. I'm gonna step it a couple more. I'll probably ch pick this side since it's mostly on, just so it'll stay on. Smash him down, smash him down, and you just keep walking it back and forth until he's on. If you got a colored link like mine, don't fucking worry about it, dude. It's gonna it's gonna wear off, especially when it goes through the guides, the rollers, all that fun stuff. All right, now see, I'm kind of flush on the rivet points now, so now you'll want to work the outsides, but. Don't forget center, and you're going to constantly work center. Maybe a, uh, a rocking back and forth, too, as you go on. Might help out smash it down. And this is going to take a while. The rivet link on now. Just protruded out a little bit, not much. 
All I did was line up the outside links to the neighboring link. Uh, and now I guess you have to uh, smash this down. This is the round style. I'm not sure I said that before. So you won't use a square head to mushroom it out over the edges. This is just going to smash down center and spread the, the end of it out. Uh, with this style too, these rivet links, you can just use a chain break, breaker and send them through and get a replacement link. And that's why I prefer master link, the clip style master links over these. But this would be my opportunity to show you how to do this. So you got to have on your tool, you'll have your little block. You got to have it on uh, press. If you don't have a little block, there'll be an adapter that goes in or some shit like that. And then you're also going to need the rounded style uh, rivet, riveter tool. And you, you won't be working this guy at all, just this guy. set up on the first one up the pin on the back side is resting in its groove because uh, you don't want it being pushed out and then you take your handy dandy wrench I'm gonna use a ratchet style on this so it's gonna get tight but uh, I supposed to and it doesn't look like it's really mushroomed out that much. Now it looks like it is mushroomed out. Pull this bad boy off and see. Oh yeah, that's mushroomed out big time, hell yeah. Now for the other side. Make sure everything is lined up. There we go. You know what, before I do this, I'm gonna need some liquid confidence. All right, sending this one down. Just a, a little bit more. <sighs> that looks better. Toit. I kind of just did one side and not the whole thing on that one, but that's okay. It's gonna hold the link in place. When it comes to these links too, when you go to remove them. I just take a Dremel or a grinder and cut the ends off and press it out with your <coughs> tool. <laughs> but there you go, that's uh, a rivet link. Pretty simple, not as easy as a clip style. So now after you've done that, you of course you're gonna do your proper chain slack, which <coughs> I'm going to do now. Right on guys, rivet style link.